Yo, what's up everyone? My name is Andrew Warren, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about some game-changing news for Tesla stock. And as always, if you all do appreciate this Tesla content where I talk about new news being released and stuff like that, then please make sure to drop a like on the video. It really does help me out, and it also helps out with the YouTube algorithm. But just jumping straight into the content for today, as you can see, portfolio doing all right so far, but more specifically what we want to focus on is Tesla stock. So right now we had around a 2% gain. Now it's at like plus 1.66%, and we're barely over $1,500 per share price. So, you know, just focusing on the stock value itself, at least we are having a little bit of an increase for today. And this movement is definitely better than what we've been seeing recently with a lot of volatility and some declines as well with us being down around 11% just in the past week. So regarding the stock price, like I mentioned yesterday with a previous video, I expected this price to bounce back up near the $1,500 marker because in my opinion, under $1,500, when people see under $1,500, they see an opportunity to buy in and purchase at a little bit cheaper price than what it's normally at. So my expectations for this stock price is to just hover around that $1,500 marker and when it goes below $1,500 I think that's when people start to buy and it corrects itself back to above $1,500 because there's a lot of people out here that think under $1,500 is a pretty solid price to buy in. I would be one of those people categorized in that group. So in my opinion I think that the stock price will be around this $1,500 marker at least for a while. So now that we've discussed the stock price movements for today and it going up just a little bit recently we also have to talk about some positive news that was released for tesla stock which i do think may have a role in the increase that we've seen today with the stock price so this revolves around elon musk's plan for the future in terms of what they plan on doing to expedite the process of transitioning the world to renewable energy. So as we know, Tesla has mentioned previously that they're just not in it for the profits. They're a company, obviously they wanna make money. That's something you can expect out of any company that exists, but they are probably one of the more moral companies in the fact that they haven't totally dominated their competition in dirty ways in my opinion. So what I mean by this is like what Nikola did with Tesla. I believe Nikola actually patented Tesla's own design meaning that they had to go around that and figure out a new thing for their semi-trucks. So what I'm saying here is commonly when you have companies that are trying to be super competitive, they like to patent a lot of things, which makes it really difficult for competing companies to have a similar product. And the really special thing that we've seen with Tesla so far is that they've open sourced many of these patents, making it easier for their competitors to transition to renewable energy from their previous nature, which is focused on gas engine vehicles. And this news piece today also goes along with that fact as well emphasizing that tesla is not just about money and monopolization they care about growing as a company but they also care about the world as well and helping others transition more easily because as we know at this point unless what tesla is doing right now is just directly copied or if things are licensed out to other companies for tesla it's going to be really difficult for many of these other automakers to actually compete with tesla so that's where this article comes into play right here let's go ahead and jump into this article by electric with the author named fred lambert and this title states elon musk Tesla is open to supply software, powertrains, and batteries to other automakers. So like I just mentioned previously, one of the big factors in other legacy automakers being able to transition to the position of where Tesla is at, which is being successful in the EV market, they are going to either have to do exactly what Tesla is doing, which is going to be a lot more costly on them because these legacy automakers have to transition their factories from just making gas engine vehicles, ICE vehicles, to making EV EVs, which would require a very different type of manufacturing. And it would also require a lot of vertical integration to be able to compete with Tesla, given the fact that Tesla supplies its own batteries, and it also comes up with other efficiencies and then software-related things as well. So as this article mentions, Tesla is open to supplying software, powertrain, and batteries, all of things which are vertically integrated into Tesla as a company, where other companies out there like General Motors, Ford, and etc. will have a much more difficult time because they aren't vertically integrated like that just yet. So given those facts already, let's go ahead and jump into the meat of this article. As it states right here, CEO Elon Musk says that Tesla
Tesla is currently open to licensing software, supplying powertrains, and batteries to other automakers struggling to make electric cars. Recently, we reported on automakers admitting that Tesla has a lead on several key areas of developing and building electric vehicles. Volkswagen has been quite open about the fact that it has fallen behind when it comes to software and that Tesla has taken a lead. So just mentioning this part of the article right here about Volkswagen, I actually did a video yesterday. If you're familiar with it, we talked about how the CEO of Volkswagen, not a former CEO, you know, like the ones we've seen with the former CEO of Ford bragging on Tesla, but a current CEO, the current CEO of Volkswagen has complimented Tesla recently, emphasizing that they are years ahead of all of the other automakers. And in that recent article by Electric, they pretty much just praised Tesla for no other reason than to just praise them unless they are somehow hoping to partner up with Tesla in the future and potentially hoping that they license them their software like as mentioned in this article. So even the current CEO of Volkswagen is bragging on Tesla and how he thinks that they are way ahead of all of these other automakers. So when you have a CEO of a major automaker saying this out in the open in the public right now, then I think that's the biggest red flag that you can get for all of the other automakers out there that aren't speaking out against it, that are just trying to keep things low key and hoping that they can somehow catch back up to Tesla, even though they realize they're so far behind. So props to the CEO of Volkswagen for telling things how they are and just simply saying the facts. And he mentioned recently, as I said earlier, is that the company is implementing what he internally called the Tesla catch-up plan in order to close the software gap between the German automaker and Tesla. So even internally in their own company known as Volkswagen, they have even called their plan the Tesla catch-up plan, basically admitting that they are so far behind compared to Tesla. So if anything tells you the position of where competition is at in comparison to Tesla, then this does for sure. And then the article goes on to state, now Tesla CEO Elon Musk said that they are willing to help. In response to those recent comments, Musk wrote on Twitter, Tesla is open to licensing software and supplying powertrains and batteries. We're just trying to accelerate sustainable energy, not crush competitors. The CEO even said that Tesla would be willing to license autopilot, though he said in the past that it would be difficult to implement. There's a limit though. Tesla is not going to share its in-cart fart machine technology. So we had like a, a joke tweet from somebody replied Elon Musk here and it says you better keep fart mode a secret from every other company and then Elon Musk replied haha no one could ever have her top secret fart technology so that's just your typical Elon Musk CEO joking around once again that's something you just don't see out of a lot of other CEOs so I love to see it I love to see a CEO that isn't afraid to say what he's thinking yes it may look bad on the company sometimes but I respect honesty much more than someone pretending to be what they're not so the article continues and states Tesla used to supply powertrains and batteries to Mercedes-Benz and Toyota, who both used to be Tesla shareholders, but they stopped in 2015 after ending all their programs. In 2014, Musk announced that Tesla is open sourcing its patents to help other automakers accelerate electric vehicle development. So that was something that I mentioned just previously as well, where I was talking about how Tesla could have really made it pretty much impossible for any other company to even try to compete with them, but instead they decided to do, I guess you would call it the moral thing, since it's really just accelerating the whole planet's transition to renewable energy. So as I mentioned here in 2014, Tesla open sourced a lot of the patents that made it easier for vehicles to start transitioning. So everyone has had a chance so far. Elon Musk has given people many chances and he is still trying to do so today. And then once again, it says, however, the move has been criticized for not being open sourcing in the true sense of the word, since Tesla only pledged not to sue any company using its patented technology in good faith. So I guess technically in law, Tesla could still sue someone if they were to do what Tesla had patented. But if they openly said that they will not pursue any sort of lawsuit against a company, then I feel like that's just how it has to be. Otherwise, it would really look poorly on Tesla. So I completely understand why some companies would be hesitant to do what Tesla is doing, even though they've said that they wouldn't, you know, start a lawsuit or anything. So, you know, I guess that point is valid. And then it states right here, the difference resulted in not many companies actually using Tesla's patented technology. And the only company who openly admitted to using Tesla's patented technology is the Chinese automaker Xping, who actually 
actually ended up suing, although not over the use of patented technology, but over allegedly stealing the autopilot source code. And this is something that we've talked on the channel before about as well. Xping is probably one of the few legitimate competitors because they have basically copied every single thing that Tesla has done. And then of course, it's in China as well, meaning that they get cheap labor and stuff like that. So everything is so much cheaper for Xping to do. And they've even replicated many of their manufacturing strategies as well. And as it says right here, they are currently being sued by Tesla over allegedly stealing the autopilot source code. So basically what happened was, I heard about this previously as well before this article, is that someone got some of the files about the autopilot technology, and I guess that revolves around the source code. And I honestly think that's one of the biggest threats to Tesla right now. Not really so much just a legitimate competitor that is not trying to clone Tesla, but I think really the big threat to Tesla in terms of competition is a company that tries to copy every single thing that they do and just basically clone their company. And when you have a company like this that is in China where there's really no laws against directly cloning another company or, you know, you have like the no patent laws as well there. And that's where Tesla kind of runs into some problems of people basically just stealing everything that they've committed a lot of research and development money to. And the company that is cloning them basically has to spend no money whatsoever on figuring out that technology and stuff like that. So it's really totally unfair when you have companies that are just unfairly stealing all of their intellectual property like Xping. So that's definitely an issue. And I think that is probably one of the biggest problems that Tesla may have to face in the future, especially in China, like I said, where there's no patent laws. But anyways, just going back onto this stock, as I mentioned earlier, this is absolutely huge. And to just go over to Twitter to emphasize this even further, as you can see right here, an article by Tesla Roddy was recently released stating, Tesla obsessed German automakers look to solve multi-year tech deficit. And this is an article, I believe, about that recent news of Hebert Dice talking about how they are very far behind on Tesla and that a lot of automakers are as well. And Elon Musk directly replied to this stating, Tesla is open to licensing software and supplying powertrains and batteries. We're just trying to accelerate sustainable energy, not crush competitors. And then someone replied, software as an autopilot. And then he says, sure. And I was actually talking about yesterday's news discussing Hebert Dice's thoughts on Tesla and how he thinks they are much farther ahead in comparison to other companies. And one of the major questions I had about that most recent news piece was what was the motive of that CEO to come out and say something like that where it obviously doesn't make Volkswagen look the greatest when he's basically stating that another automaker is much farther in the lead than they are and we did mention that of course the CEO of Volkswagen threw in the company Volkswagen along with many of the other companies that he thinks will be the most valuable companies in the future within like the next five to ten years so there was some sort of motive to that news piece where he was throwing the Volkswagen name in with a lot of these other big companies like Amazon, Microsoft, Apple, Tesla, talking about how he thought those would be some of the biggest companies in the future and the most valuable ones. So yes, I guess there was some motivation to make his company look good as well. But I also think that article and you know that release of news and the, the CEO talking about that was kind of like a subtle reach out to Tesla saying that we support you, we recognize what you've done, we respect it. And I think that reach out was maybe like a little bit of not only just bragging on Tesla, but a potential request to have a little bit of collaboration between them. So I think it was possibly a reach out for Elon Musk to do exactly what he did recently with that tweet, which was to potentially supply some of their competitors with their technology and products. So I think that's very valuable for Tesla in the future. For any of you long-term Tesla investors that do own the shares, I'm assuming a lot of you have seen this coming already, including myself. This was something that was being said by Tesla investors from the very beginning, talking about how valuable the Tesla software and of course their battery technology would be not only to just Tesla's company but if they decided to source it out to other competitors as well. So we are starting to see this value being representative with Tesla and eventually I do think that we will see another factory purely focused on battery production as higher demand comes out for the Tesla batteries. So I would love to see another just fully dedicated battery factory like we see in Nevada. So there's definitely a lot of profit potential with that one as well and 
as I've said earlier, Tesla is not just an automaker. They are a company that focuses on many different business sectors, including, you know, different aspects of renewable energy, whether it's solar panels, whether it's battery technology in terms of grid functions, whether it's battery technology for electric vehicles. And then we also have the autonomy sector as well. And then potentially maybe even HVAC systems in the future when Tesla decides to expand a little bit farther on. So anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to smash that like button. It really does help me out. And also feel free to sign up to Robinhood and Webull in the description below with my referral link. If you sign up with that link, then you'll get some free stocks. Right now, you can get up to 60 free stocks with Webull, depending on how much you deposit. But I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your week.